Daniel, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Cherry. Oh, hi, Cherry. Nice to meet you too. I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. No, no, I just got here. Okay. Thank you, Harry. Starving. What do you fancy? I don't know. It's on the menu. So, uh, you're really into politics, are you? Well, to a certain extent. I mean, I'd never actually want to become a politician or anything like that, but. I just think it's important to know what's going on in your own backyard. Do you know what I mean? Oh, definitely. For example, did you know that the only place defamation laws don't apply are in Parliament mm. House? You're kidding. No, nope. They've basically given permission to lie. They can make up whatever they want about whoever they want and just get away with it. <laughs> Order. I find it a little bit more than coincidental that the Prime Minister who has led this country into its worst draft for what, 100 years? Yeah. 100 years yeah. is the very same Prime Minister who only last week was snorting cocaine from a Moroccan boy's ass crack on a yacht owned by a Colombian warlord. And who is believed to have a direct link to Al-Qaeda. Water. Will the Honourable Member of Wakehurst please sit down and shut up? Yeah, I just got back from a trip to Italy about a month ago. Oh, that must have been amazing. I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, I love Italy so much. I'd like to live there someday. Hmm? You know, I was actually in the Vatican when the Pope died. You're kidding. That must have been an amazing experience. What a guy, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. So, what exactly did he die of? Oh, who knows? I suppose just about anything can happen to you at that age. Sua hmm. Santità, oggi è il suo 87 compleanno. Io e i ragazzi abbiamo messo una cosa speciale per lei. Sì, viva festa ragazzi! I just couldn't help it, you know. I just, when they got out, I just broke down in tears of joy. It was such a moving thing. I know exactly what you mean. I was practically glued to the TV set the entire time. Imagine that, being trapped inside a collapsed mine for, what, two weeks? I couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah. And do you know that there are some so-called comedians in this country that think it's perfectly okay to make fun of people in that sort of situation? Oh, that's disgusting. I mean, it really is. I mean, what kind of a sick person finds humour in two men being trapped in a collapsed mine together? Shameless. Pathetic. Shameless people. Hey, man. What? I was just wondering if you, you know, wanted to wank each other off for a bit. Oh, shit. I'm just joking. Sorry, forget about it. I've got a wife, man. So do I. Wouldn't be gay. How? Because we can't say anything. <laughs> but it's still two blokes wanking each other off. Yeah. How is that not gay? Look, 
we're in a life and death situation, okay? I just thought that, you know, <coughs> we've been down here for 20 minutes. All right. I'm not talking to you anymore, okay? You just stay over that end, I'll stay over my end. Uh, I'm sorry, we'll mate. Just, no, I'm, just I'm mind sorry. your business. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm, no. It's okay I'm, to be I'm gay. I'm just trying Don't to worry, add mate. some humour. No, I'm just I'm trying to do the right thing by us I'm and just try and make this experience go a little bit quicker. No, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. Why would I be worried? I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not getting worked up. I'm not getting worked up. I'm not gay. I know it's fine. I'm not. Why would I? Why would I? If I was gay, I'd come. If I was gay, I'd admit it to me. If I was gay, I'd admit it. It's all right to be gay. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> real mature. Yeah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That was lovely. Thanks. <laughs> I think the wine's starting to go to my head. <laughs> What do you want to do after this? I'd like to see where you live. <laughs> I'd like to show you where I live. I've had such a great time with you tonight. To be honest with you, you're the first decent guy that I've met in ages. So rare to find someone that you can just chat with, you know? Mm. Oh, no. That's all right. Idiot mother brings a baby to a restaurant. This is exactly the kind of crap that makes me pro-choice. Actually, <laughs> that reminds me of a good joke. What's stiff, wet and makes women cry? <laughs> Stillborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want for dessert? Oh. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I've just remembered there's something I've got to do. Oh, I'll call you tomorrow. Um, actually, I'm going to be busy for the next couple of weeks, but I'll give you a call when I'm free, though, OK? OK, well, can I walk you home? Um, no, I'll catch a taxi, but thanks again for dinner. Yeah, yeah, because when I was there, Okay. 